What's good, EYTBC? What's good, Fight Fans, Boxing Nets around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. So I just finished watching this fight between Laborio Salas versus Jamie McDonald for the um, uh, WBA Bantamweight strap that McDowell holds. And actually, this fight right here was a complete robbery, man. This was a bad call, man. This, these these um, judges should be investigated, you know what I mean? I had the man um, Solis winning this fight eight rounds to four. You know what I'm saying? The man handles his business. He comes. He was the come forward fighter all night. The man was putting the pressure on this Jamie McDowell kid, you know what I'm saying? You could see he's stalking him. The man made him bleed with some left hands, some jabs in the right hands that was coming across. He beat him on the inside, and he closed the distance. You know what I mean? Jamie McDowell would have liked to stay up close. To, I'm sorry, he would have liked to keep the distance using his jab. But the smaller guy, the 5'4", um, Solis, um, former super flyweight champ, the man, um, the man was coming forward. And the man that definitely, um, he closed the distance and he was getting on the inside and he was tagging the man with the right hand all night. Jamie McDowell barely threw his right hand, you know what I mean? I had this fight eight rounds to four. And the judges had a uni unanimous decision, you know what I mean? <clears throat> One judge added even um 117 to 111, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where they got that kind of score. They gave the man nine rounds. I couldn't believe it, man. Solis got robbed, man. If you're if you're down with Eddie Hearn like Jamie McDonald is, if you're down with matchroom boxing, only way you're going to lose a fight is if you get knocked out, man. We've seen this happen so many times. It happened with Ricky Burns, the last fight he had with that relic character, you know what I mean? Man, Solis came there in Monte Carlo and he beat this guy, man, out there in the French Riviera. And it's a damn shame that the man ain't get the W because he should be a two-time world champion right now, you know what I mean? And this is a disgrace, man. You know what I'm saying? Jamie McDonald looked slow. The man didn't look like he could pull the um, pull the trigger, you know what I'm saying? And he was barely throwing his right hand. He was just jabbing, jabbing. And the man was parrying them jabs and he was catching them with right hands all night, you know what I'm saying? And left hooks and, la and jabs, you know what I mean? The smaller guy did his thing, man. And it's a damn shame. I even asked some money on this fight. I put it down on Solis because Solis is a good fighter, you know what I mean? The man gave um, Yamanaka uh, the, a guy on the top 10 pound for pound list. He gave him troubles, you know what I mean? And I'm getting ready to watch this fight there with Malik Scott and Luis Ortiz. This is on the undercard, but it's a damn shame what I just seen, man. I couldn't believe it, man. Not only should these judges be investigated, but man, they should actually face like a one-year suspension. That's what should really happen, you know what I mean? These judges got to be held accountable because I love boxing, man, but you can see why some people could get frustrated with the sport, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comment section who you had winning this fight, man. I had it eight rounds to four, you know what I'm saying? I even had Solis winning the championship rounds when the man... McDonald knew that he had to come back and win them championship rounds, you know what I mean? So let me know who you thought won this fight. All right, B-Marsh Boxing, thanks for listening. Peace.